Hello everyone, this is Roxas1359. Welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. Last time, many things happened, so just go and watch the last episode. Normally for JRPGs, this is especially the case on Game Anyone, I usually don't do recaps because it basically turned into a recap of Dragon Ball Z. And there's a card in here, so grab that. And we get a Kingdom Key. It's only a three, so it kind of sucks. Well, so let's use another one. God dang it, I don't want to- I don't want to use my Heartless! Oh, fine. Take my shadow. It kind of sounds a lot worse when you think about it. Alright, so... I remember this place- Gizmo Shop. Oh. Now we see what happens when an enemy runs into you! They're not stunned! As you can see, though, we have returns of the regular enemies, such as the soldiers who have their regular color scheme, something I'm not used to because I've been playing Final Mix for at least five years. Actually, no, I've been playing for way longer. I kind of, like, under just, oh, I kind of just underplayed that, to be quite honest, because with, uh, when it comes to um, Final Mix games, I've honestly been playing Final Mix games for a lot longer than I have other ones. Okay. So, charge up. And there we go. More cards. Please die. You're going to notice card breaks a lot. Oh, great. We got these guys back. Now, man, this is getting... Dude, I have, like, no cards. Now, you can escape if you run into the side for long enough, but since this is early on, I kind of want to, you know, get some experience. It's Especially because, you know, I'm on proud mode because you guys voted for it. Alright, I leveled up. That's good. That actually means something later on. I hate having to manage cards while doing battles because apparently Sora does not know how to... I used an item. Because apparently Sora does not know how to, you know, swing a blunt object without throwing up a card. Because that makes total sense. Anyway, ah, run. Uh, yeah. Nope. Dang it. Charge up. Just dodge roll out of the way. At least it's not like you have to constantly hold on to it in order to do it, because otherwise that'd be kind of crappy. There we go. Now I get to show you guys what happens when you actually level up. And, oh wow, we got Black Room? Wow. Wasn't expecting that. And this is actually an aspect of Kingdom Hearts rechain of memories and chain of memories in general that I actually like. You choose what you are put into it. You got max CP, which raises Sora's CP. That's how many cards we can carry. Slates, which are basically our abilities. As you can see, we have sliding dash. Or HP. Uh, it changes with different levels. I believe we could also do things later on, like attack boosts, uh, defense boosts. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. It's been a long time since I played Chain of Memories. But I actually like this aspect a lot because it's... I'm gonna do that. Here we go. Mainly because what I like is it's sort of strategy, and I'm kind of a sucker for certain SRPGs as I stare at my Sky games. Anyway, now we have the sliding dash. Slide towards distant targets for close range attack. Three attack cards of the same type, total value 10 to 15. There's an example, which is good. Right, and let's just explore around. Up, oh, we got another one of those. Right, now, I don't like how the map is sort of set up in this game. Now, when it has a crown on it, that actually means that it's a main thing for a story. No! Gonna cut this out. There we go. What do we get this? Oh, we got a shadow. Tranquil Darkness. And we leveled up again in that one. As you can see, you can't choose another Slade. It's, I think they're level locked, so let's go with some more CP. Health isn't really as important to me right now, since this is still early on. Anyway, like I said, when it has a crown, it means it's story related, so you can go that way. Let's actually see if we can open this up. Okay, we need a three or higher. I guess. I mean, might as well. Probably shouldn't have used it. Oh, well. I want to explore around the areas before really doing more story mission stuff. Speaking of which, more story stuff. Oh, hey, look, a black fungus. 
Let's kill you. Alright. So, I do not like fighting black funguses in this game. They're a lot... They're not as dangerous. But... They can be kind of a pain, and I think... Yeah, they still do have their invincibility frames. Oh, no, they don't. Alright, uh, let's... Recharge, shall we? And... Ow. Crud. Let us... Oh, there's the invincibility. Wow, it looks kind of sloppy compared to the first Kingdom Hearts and Final Mix. It's kind of weird. All right, it went out of it, so let's kill it. There we go. And we got a meeting ground. That is usually used to open up doors. That's usually what I use most cards for, is just to open doors. All right, let's... You're going to notice that I end up attacking instead of actually jumping because I'm playing Final Mix at the same time as I'm playing this game. I guess I should actually go through this too because I didn't go in through it the last episode. If you push the select button, you'll get the world map. As you can see, this is where we currently are right now. This is a room where untold stories unfold. And this is a room where untold stories unfold. As you can see, this one has a kingdom key on it, which means you'll need that kingdom key card that we have. And then this one has a heart on it. All the other rooms around here... The exclamation marks are story ones. They will open up later on. And then these ones are just other rooms. It's better to open up everything right now, which is why I usually do this first, and then I can just breeze through this. Uh, might as well just use my Tranquil Darkness. See, with the constant need for cards like these, it forces you to have to go into the battles, which I'm not a huge fan of. Oh, speaking of which... Nope. Not, nope, not dealing. Nope, not dealing. Uh, what did I just say? Good sir. I'm trying to... Did it confuse it? Yeah, I confused them. I confused them. How oh, nice. That's very strange. I forgot about the confusion status. You'll find that I forget a lot about things for this, and it, that's because... Out of all the Kingdom Hearts games, this is probably my second least played. So then, Roxas, what's the first least played? Isn't it obvious? What, it isn't? Okay, I'll tell you. It is the ever-so-lovely, you know, recoded. The one that not many people like, including myself. Ooh, sweet. Sweet, feeble darkness. That's a nine card. That's actually really, really good. For opening doors! So as you can see, this one right here is story related. This doors embezzled with a crown are special doors. You need special cards called key cards to open these doors. I wouldn't have guessed. But you just but just having the key card isn't enough to open the door. You need the key card and one or more additional cards to meet certain criteria. This is where it gets kind of annoying. Pick map cards that meet the door criteria and you can open the door. Alright, so as you can see we'd need a G which is this one. As you can see they are split up into R G B get it and special ones. The key card ones are right here. As you can see we only have the key of beginnings so we can't continue on but this opens it up. Oh, crap. Cutting out. Oh god, no, not another soldier. No, not another soldier. I hate soldiers. They're annoying. God dang it. I hate a soldier. Why were... Please kill the soldier. There we go. Managed to get rid of you and... Goofy! Hey, look, it's the ability I never used in Kingdom... Oh, Goofy, you failed me. Alright, I need to recharge... God dang it. Nope. There we go. There we go. I got rid of you. And let us... Where's that shadow? There's that shadow. Alright. Not bad. Another meeting ground. Alright. So, let's go back through the door. Once you open up a door once, it will stay open, which is a good thing in my case. Because, honestly, this would take 
forever. I kind of don't like how the map is set up in this game and how you have to hit the select button to do it, but that's just me. Then again, I complain about most things in this game, so what's the point? All right, so let's actually go and do some story exposition to where we get cutscenes. Or if I'm remembering correctly, actually text this. No, 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 I'm not. I have another, I have another meeting ground, so I'll use a one since I actually just got that one in the last battle and key of beginnings. And there we go. That opens that up. Hey, it's the third district. With the walls all set up. Oh, your arrogance got the best of you. What the heck? Can you guys just materialize like that whenever you want? Is that really a statement? Okay. Pluto. Honestly, after what happened in Kingdom Hearts 1 and what's going to happen in Forever in the Kingdom Hearts series, Pluto is just strange. Hey, you came with the king's dog and then you lost him. I share the sentiment with you, Sora. Go forward, kill things. That'll work. How do you say an exclamation mark? Tell me! You little... Wh what? Again, how do you say a question mark and then... Uh... I don't know. Why do you if you don't know us personally? Are we that famous? If he's kidding around Goofy, then it's very terrible. Just like this commentary. Leon, yet again, deep in thought. Just like before.
Honestly, this looping music is starting to drive me insane. I don't know about you guys. Strange, yes, but convenient. Oh, but the introduction is the best part. And I don't get you, Leon. Stop trying to focus for a special beam cannon. You obviously can't use it. In the grand tour of Traverse Town, just like how I already opened up all the doors that lead to the entire story for the rest of Traverse Town. Okay. Wait, why are you taking Pluto? I know how to protect myself in battle. I've gotten in a few already. I went through a tutorial. It wasn't skippable. Please don't do this to me. God dang it. Uh, anyway, this is actually a very convenient tutorial because you might have noticed in that first battle and the other one that my cards kept getting broken. This will alleviate that. This is the tutorial I was saying that was going to appear in the first part, actually, huh? Alright, so... Let us... As you can see, card break, but... Yeah, what? There we go. Yes, I see how it works. I explained it in the first bleeding part. That's why I love zero cards. If you can get a bunch of those, then you're pretty much set for the rest of the game. True. I have. God dang it, please let me out of this tutorial. And actually have some voice acting or something, please! Okay, this is the tutorial that I want. Stock cards. I love stocking cards. That's like the only redeeming thing for this game when it comes to this combat, because it's the only way you can really get ahead, especially against the later boss. All right. So, as you can see, you push the triangle button to stock cards, so let us stock... Stock... Stock. Unless your opponent has a zero in which you can stock three nines, have a 27, have somebody play a zero, you're boned! Oh, I can't wait for that boss. You guys know what I'm talking about, too. If you've played Kingdom Hearts, Reach Anna Memories, you know which boss I'm talking about. All right, so have to hold L1 and R1 to use our stock cards. And it does a triple combo. Because yet again, remember, Sora doesn't know how to swing his blunt object without throwing a card down. Ugh, with how this is, I might as well just start reading this, despite the fact that I know people probably like it that they get to read it themselves. Mainly because I feel like I'm not doing anything. I already have a slate. That's the funny part. Yes, this is actually to stop you from abusing it. You lose the first card you picked. So, it's kind of dangerous to do, really. And it can be kind of a pain. And 
that's why when it comes to a boss battle, you want to be careful when using stocking, when stocking cards because if it were say a cure one, then you could be in trouble because not even though Leon's not going over this now, you can stock any card. You can stock a cure and two attacks, some different magics because magics are certain cards with cure or attacks and just a bunch of, even with ally cards actually. But with the ally cards, they usually just drop in the battle anyway, so you gotta get lucky with those. Yes, because when you're out of cards, you can't attack. Does that make sense? You can tell that I love card-based combat, can't you? Yeah, I've got it. <laughs> Alright, so are we going to just follow you? And we have a Simba card. Yep, summons are in this game and they're in the form of cards. And we have the Key of Guidance. It should be noted that the Key of Beginnings and the Key of Guidance and the third one that we're going to have in Traverse Round actually appear in every single, well, stage. And since we already have pretty much a lot of cards, let's go and get some more, shall we? Oh, crap. Wait a miss. Freaking heck. I, I'm terrible at multitasking. Oh wow, it's a seven? Goofy, help me! Oh, God. Dang it, stop breaking my cards. There we go. Okay, I kind of needed that. All right, so let's go on and do... See, I don't know if I want to do another cutscene or not. Well, I need to cut out some battles, but it won't be that long. Please note, I'm not going to be making these episodes too long since I need it to last. But then again... Oh, I need a plus three. I have a two and a nine. I want to keep the nine. Well, I do have a six. Ah, very well. And let us use the key of guidance. See, it helps to actually open up all the doors. Not all the areas actually open up at the same time. I should go into the start menu and do the explanations for that, but I might do that in the next episode. Oh, great. We're back to the looping music. Well, that's an awkward moment. One of us. One of us. That's all I take whenever I read that quote. By team, you mean I did all the work, they hitched on and got their world back. Oh, great. Now we're completing each other's sentences. Even though the memory part is in the brain and not the heart. I guess my psychology teacher was wrong. Sorry, Dr. Lamacus.
So basically, they know everything I know because my heart is telling them. That's kind of creepy if you think about it in certain levels. All you gotta do is believe. Alright, this cutscene seems like it's a lot less long. And we got the key to truth. The key to truth is the key... Not the key. The card that will usually end that world for you. So, what I'm actually gonna do is, since I have everything all set up, I'm actually gonna go and save. And what I'm usually gonna do is I'm gonna do, like, huge recording sessions, probably. And then I'm going to probably just split it up at some parts but in this case i'm actually going to end off the episode so let's go to a moment's reprieve and let us save so anyway guys i'm gonna end it off right here it's been roxas1359 i'm gonna do some training off screen so then i can get more cards because you need them cards oh boy see you guys next time